Okay, my name's Tracy. I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about dreaming big and going tiny. Tumbleweed Tiny Company, Tumble, Tumbleweed Tiny House Company has been around actually since 1999. It's when we built the very first tumbleweed. We didn't actually start manufacturing these though until a couple of years ago. We um, are located here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We are a small business. We're almost like a startup. We've only been doing this a couple of years and we're already at a 70% growth rate. That's our team. So really what this is about, I want to talk a little bit about our culture and our vision. We decided that we wanted to help people live big, more free, to be able to follow their dreams. And that often means reducing non-value add from our lives and really focusing on what's truly important. So what is dreaming big to you? It might be different for you. Maybe this doesn't represent anything at all as far as what you think dreaming big is. But for us, it's about being able to take in everything that you can whether it's here or somewhere else, in the mountains, whatever it is, and really exploring. So this is not really, a, this is a movement, it's not a fad. Um, it's a very conscious choice for people of all walks of life, and really it's about mobility and having that impact, right? So we've got um, units out there that students are looking at mobile vet units, uh, recording studios, people are using these as writer's inspiration. You get to go park at a different view every week if you choose. Um, we've seen coffee shops, Airbnbs. You dream it, we'll build it. So did you guys know that since 1950, the average size of the American house has actually increased while the size of the American family has decreased? This is huge. This is also impacting our footprint here on the world. And we've got to think about how we're going to leave this place for our children. So simplicity can mean a lot of different things. Sometimes simplicity means more. <laughs> What is simple to you, right? What does simplicity mean for you? And uh, I think this picture kind of describes it all. So why do people dream big and go tiny? Freedom, freedom from finances, freedom from where you're at every day. Um, it's about living big, removing the clutter, um, really promoting your experiences instead of collecting stuff, uh, really removing that footprint of what it's doing to our environment. Um, it's also an economical smart. I've heard students talk about that debt, right? I'm going to talk a little bit more about that uh, in a second. But also, time is important. I can clean this thing in 15 minutes. Tell me how long it takes you to clean your house. <laughs> Living big, focusing on what's really important. It's, again, it's about experiences, not stuff. Um, maybe it's a spiritual connection for some people. Um, for some families, it's about togetherness and really bringing them closer. So what is really important to you? I challenge you all to think about this. And I also challenge you to remove the clutter out of your life. I like to quote Albert Einstein here. Out of clutter, find simplicity. Change your perspective, folks, and get rid of the clutter and really focus on what's important to you. How are you going to impact things? There was a nice picture here. Let's just pretend there's a nice tiny house there. Think about your green footprint, right? Think about what your life is about. What do you want to focus on? How are you going to impact people? Again, it's about experiences. The millennials, you guys get this, right? And not to say our older generations don't get this, but truly, I think our millennials are really understanding about how we want to leave this place, um, how we want to leave this world to our children. So if you can decrease the non-value added waste out of your life, you're truly making an impact in a lot of ways. Laura Schmidt is our master's um, graduate. She has a master's graduate degree in architecture. She built or designed, actually designed this tiny house for us. So, and she's doing this for the reasons that are true to her. Uh, again, as a college student, um, it was about removing, you know, being more financially free. Um, also, think about the impact on what you're doing and how you're impacting other people's lives. So, I ask you guys, and I ask you to just think about following your heart. I went from technology into manufacturing. Um, I did that because it was important to me, and I wanted to know um, and impact other people's freedoms, whether it's helping out vets or homeless people, um, or just really helping to start a small business, you name it. Um, it. I really, again, like I said, challenge you to think about what freedom means. It's also about being um, conscious, community conscious, um, being able to connect in how you impact others around. We're growing a small business. We're the only green certified tiny house builder in the world. It's about healthy living. It's about entrepreneurship. So we encourage you to dream big, right? Um, think about really how you want to impact. This is living big to me, not living in that big house, right? This is what I, this is my dream. This is my dream to have with my husband and my son. Um, with that, I just, again, challenge all of you guys to dream big and think about going tiny. Thank you on behalf of the Tumbleweed team.